Patrick is never giving up. What's up, Nero Nation? It's your boy Nero back at it with some more Black Clover news, man. Yeah. Is it time already? Get and so make sure you subscribe. You already know what time it is. We about to get right into it. First thing on the list is Yuki Tabata's author comment for Weekly Shonen Jump, issue number 28. And he goes to say, I watched the Black Clover movie at a premiere event. It was super awesome. Please go check it out. And I think that's so dope that he actually went to a premiere event for his own movie, man. Can you imagine if you were actually there and you're just like sitting there watching Black Clover on a big screen and you just happen to look over and you're like, oh shit. That's Yuki Tabata. Like, it's really him. Like, I don't know. I could just picture that just being an amazing moment, man. And I would have loved to experience that, man. Dang, man. Hey, look, man. We should have did something like that over here. Had a premiere event over here, man. But I love the fact that they actually got Black Clover in theaters in Japan. And I wish it was like that over here. Because some movies, you just need to experience it in the theater. And I feel like Black Clover is one of those movies, man. I get it. Some people like watching movies from the comfort of their own home. You know, the whole Netflix thing. But, like, for me, man, I would have definitely went to the theaters to see this, man. I'm pretty sure most of y'all would have did the same thing. And Yuki Tabata, you already know we're going to check out the movie. I'm I'm gonna be watching that jump on every TV in my place at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I already watched it eight times. I walk out of one room and walk into the other room. They still on the same part synced up. That's how I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show up some love. And I'll probably watch it a couple more times after that, a couple more days. I'll probably watch it at least 20, 30 times. But yo, I don't know. I really wish we had it in theaters, man. But let me know y'all thoughts about his comment. Yo, how do y'all feel about it? How do you, uh, think the experience was for him if it's, and if you had a chance to go would you actually go now while we're talking about the movie i really love how much publicity the black clover movie is getting like down to the pv trailers down to like when you look right here we got these pictures of you know they got like these car big cardboard stands of different characters from the movie you got asa you got you know you got yami like these posters look amazing. And then like just looking at this like store, I'm guessing this is a theater right here. This is a theater and you've got these glass cases with Asta and Yuno in it. Like, oh my gosh, like celebrating the movie as well as the release of volume 35. I just love the support. Like I feel like within the last month, they have really been pushing Black Clover and I just love it. And I wish they would have been doing this from the very start because Black Clover could have been way bigger than what it is now. Don't get me wrong, Black Clover is big, but like the amount of attention and push they're doing it because of the release of the movie is just so amazing. Like, look at this. You're walking down the street, you're looking into a store and you see all this, all these pictures celebrating the movie, the series, as well as the latest volumes. Like, look at the love they've been showing Black Clover. Like, you go on Twitter, that's all you see in our, our new post of Black Clover you know for the movie for the game like yo it's, they just been showing so much love for black clover and i'm glad they're finally doing it but i wish they would have did it a lot sooner and while we're still talking about the movie they just released this key visual and i'm not gonna lie to y'all this key visual is straight flames I we've never seen anything like it i thought the last um, key visual we got for the movie was dope but this may be my favorite and i want this as a poster out of any key visual we got for the movie I want this one as a poster. Like, yo, you got Comrade like uh, going right towards Asta, Asta going towards Comrade. It looked like they're about to clash. And like, yo, you got the anti-magic like just throughout the background and in the picture. Like, yo, this picture, well, this key visual just looks so amazing. I'm gonna put it on the screen so y'all can see it as well. But I I'm sorry, I think this is the best one we got so far from the movie. And in fact, they probably should have led with this one. Like, I don't know, man, this joke look clean. Man, let me know y'all thoughts on this key visual. Maybe it's just me thinking that, but I just think this key visual looks amazing. Also, we we got like for the movie, I don't know it's a lot of movie talk, but I mean, just it was so close to the movie release and that's why they got it. But you are, actually got the voice actor of uh, Jester from the Black Clover movie. And he was on the cover page of one of the magazines. You see that like, yo, they, like I said, they're promoting Black Clover so much. Like they even got the voice, uh, voice actors on magazines. Like this is crazy. Also, you see another magazine, a whole separate magazine has Asta and Yuno on the cover of it. And I ain't gonna lie, they both look dripped out. You know what I'm saying? Both of them got that look like, yo, you better check out our movie. Like, look at the love they're showing Black Clover. I, I love it, man. I love it. Like I said, I wish they would have started this from the very beginning. This series could be even bigger 
than what it is now. Maybe it's just me thinking that, but that's just how I feel about it. But we're going to keep it moving with the Black Clover news. We're going to keep it moving. Next thing on the list. Black Clover Volume 35 sold 42,000 copies in just three days. Good to see it. Love to see it. This is actually better than what they did for Volume 34 on the first week sales. I will keep you posted on the upcoming sales in the next week of Black Clover news. Next thing on the list is some new Black Clover merch. I like it. I want it all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they got these little figures of Asta, Yami, and Yuno. They're probably going to release other ones in the future. You also got this plushy doll of Nero. You also got this like little mug of Nero. Uh, little look like a cookie jar. You open it up and put your cookies in there. <laughs> I don't know, that just sounds weird saying that. But either way, yo, this merch looks pretty dope, man. I definitely would get it. I don't know if I would get the Yuno one right off the bat, but I definitely would get the Yami and the Asta one. And I would definitely get, I probably would get the cookie jar. I don't know about the plushie. I, and I've never really been a fan of the plushie, but it is Nero, so I would get it just to have it. I don't know, let me know in the comment section. Would y'all get all of these, or is it just certain ones you would get? Let me know, I'm curious to know which one y'all would cop if we're on the same wavelength or not. But yo, yeah, we got some new Black Clover merch, and I hope it actually comes to the state. A matter of fact, that's not even a, a cookie jar, that's a mug. Oh my, a mug? It's a mug. I don't know, man. I think it would have been better as a cookie jar. I, that's just me. I think it would have been better as a cookie jar. But it looks pretty dope, man. Let me know y'all thoughts on it. And we're going to keep it moving. Next thing uh, on the list, man, we had a fan do some shoe art to represent the Magic Knight Captain Squads. And I ain't going to lie, with Air Force Ones, these things are pretty hot, man. These are, this is some dope-ass art. And honestly, if they really did release these, I would definitely cop most of them. Not all of them, but I definitely would cop uh, most of these shoes, man. Like, Yo, the black bull one just look clean with the black and gold. I would definitely get it. I don't know. I don't know if I would get the crimson lion one. I don't know because I like it, but at the same time, I feel like that would be something hard to match with because I don't really know if that's really red or or like a burgundy or I, I don't know. That one I would have to wait on. Um, let me see the golden dons. I would cop the golden dons. I definitely would get the silver eagles. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I definitely get the uh, the blue rose. I get those, the mantis, the praying mantis. I don't know if I would get those. I don't. I don't think I would. I don't think I would. Um, the peacocks. I'm not sure I would get the peacocks as well. Uh, the, the, the I can't even think of what um, Julius Squad was. It was something deer. But yeah, I definitely would get Julius Squad. Um, the purple orchids. Uh, Nah, I probably wouldn't get those either. I wouldn't get those either. But let me know down below which ones would y'all actually get. Like for me, right off the rip, I would get the uh, the Black Bulls as well as um, the Silver Eagles and the, the Blue Rose. Those would be the three ones I get off rip. The rest of them, I'll get them whenever I could afford them, you know. But let me know which ones would y'all actually get. I think, I mean, all of them dope, though. I mean, some pretty dope art. But we're going to keep it moving on the list. I know y'all want to see me talk about fake shoes, but we're going to keep it moving. Next thing on the list, we got a couple birthdays for some voice actors for Black Clover. Sub, first on the list for June 8th is the voice actress of Sally. Shout out to her. Hope she had a happy birthday. Hope she did all the fun things that she wanted to do. Not really sure how old she is, but she looks pretty young in this picture. Uh, next birthday on the list is the voice actress of Undine. Her birthday was June 9th. Shout out to her. She played a lot. Oh, she played a lot of dope characters. Oh, man, she played Ren? I, yeah, I would say Ren is probably my favorite character out of everyone she played. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would go with Ren. She played some dope characters, though. Uh, but shout out to her. Hopefully, she had a good birthday as well. Hopefully, she got to do all the fun things that she wanted to do and spend time with her family. And we're going to keep it moving. Those are all the birthdays we got this week. Actually, I don't even think we had any birthdays in the last few videos. So shout out to them. And on the list is the Black Clover movie countdown pictures. Yes, we're about to go through them. Shout out to all the artists. I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about these pictures as we count them down. We got one more week left for these pictures. And then is bye bye i might even do a live video where we actually rank all the pictures so that we can pick out our favorite i might actually do that let me know down below if that's something y'all want me to do towards the end 
of uh, you know this countdown that they're doing. But we're gonna start it off with 13 days away. We actually have with Henry on it, and yeah, I mean this picture with Henry is pretty dope. Um, the art style looks really clean. Uh, whoever did this one, I rock with it. I rock with it. Honestly, I mean it just looks really crisp. But I've never really been a big Henry fan. I don't dislike Henry, but. I'm not the biggest Henry fan because he don't get a lot of time to shine. Not only that, the way he used to talk in the sub, as well as the dub, I can handle the dub a little bit, but the way he talks in the sub is just so annoying for me. And I get why he talked like that. His character is supposed to be like that, but it's just, I, it's just too much for me. It's too much, man. But yo, we're moving on. 12 days away, you got your boy Zora on it, and I ain't gonna lie. This one looks clean, man. Like, yo, Zora looks so sinister. Then the way his, uh, they made it where his, uh, magic is actually the word saying 12 days away. I just, I don't know. I just really love this Zora one. Man, this is probably my favorite right now as we're going down the list. It might change. But as of right now, this is my favorite out of this week, uh, countdown pictures. We're gonna keep it moving to number, uh, 11. Number 11 is, uh, Gray. This is a good picture. This is a really good picture. I like it. it. It captures how nervous Gray B and everything. I really like this. It looks like she's using her transformation magic too. I do like this picture. I would still say I like the Zora one better. I probably would put this after the Zora and then it would be the um, Henry one. Yeah, that's probably how I would do it so far. Then I'm going to keep it moving to the 10th day. The 10th day is your boy Gordon. I like this Gordon one. This is really clean. In fact, Gordon just jumped to number one. I just like the all black background. You got the little purple flame over there. And it's just like you can only see half of Gordon Fish. They did a real good job with the shadow of the light being produced by the candle. I really like this Gordon one. So yeah, I will say this is probably my favorite right now. Then we jump to number nine with Charmy and she's sitting next to Yuno while they're watching a the movie and she's wearing a headband that says, I love Yuno. So I do think the Gordon one is better, but just like, I don't know, just the comedy within this picture will make this number one for me as uh, far as this week countdown. Like, yo, I don't know, I just think it's hilarious. Like, Yuno looks very uncomfortable sitting next to her. He even got like a sweat running down his face. And you got her eating popcorn with a headband that says, I love you know. This is good. This, I don't know. This is probably like the funniest one out of all the ones we got. So I really like this one, man. So yeah, this is number one for me. That's number one. Uh, eight days away, we got your girl Vanessa on it. Uh, pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I like the art style. It's not, I don't think this is my favorite, but you know what I'm saying? It's dope. It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, maybe some of y'all like this one better than others. But yeah, we got Vanessa for eight days. And last on the list will be actually your boy Goach. Goach is for the seven days until the movie release. And the one with Goach is actually like a little uh, GIF where it's animated and it moves for a couple seconds where it starts from his eye and moves all the way to him just looking at the screen like he is now in the picture that I got up on y'all. And Goach as well as Sis Lion are the only two so far to actually be like an animated clip. Like uh, Sis Lion had like flames furies and flames and stuff like coming up in the air while she was standing there so like her and Goach are the only two that have animated ones which I'm really surprised I'm, I'm curious to know what made them decide to make those ones well then again it's different artists and that's what they chose to do that's why they're different but I really think that's dope but again I'm not gonna say this is one of my favorite ones um it I mean it's dope the fact that it was like a uh, animation but I mean, I ain't never been the biggest Ghost fan. I think he's dope, but I ain't never been the biggest fan of Ghost. But you guys can let me know down below which one was y'all favorite. And you know what I'm saying? Let me know. I, I want to see the list. And let me know if y'all also want me to do a video ranking all the pictures once this uh, countdown is done. If that's the case, I'll actually do that video or a live stream and we just rank it ourselves. You know, top tier, low tier, middle tier, or something like that. But uh, hopefully you guys like this Black Clover News video. That's everything we got this week. Um, and if you did, make sure you thumb up the video, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. Hoping you have a great day and night wherever you are. It's your boy Nero Mega Man signing out. Peace.